Hello, David Zritsky for The Bond Experience. Welcome back. All right, I'm dressed in James Bond's, that's Commander Bond, but you knew that, uh, outfit from the Jamaica scene from No Time to Die. I've got the Tommy Bahama shirt. I've got watch check, the Omega Bond watch on. But I'm here to do something that, I think it's a simple video, but it's one that I get a lot of requests for, and I mean a lot. And it was, it was spawned out of a simple party, a brunch that I had with friends, where I wanted to make an interesting morning-ish, but also tropical and no time to die cocktail, something that wasn't established out there. But I knew I wanted to use some key ingredients that were very Bond-like. And so the Nomi was born. And let me explain the different parts and pieces and also how to make this very simple drink. First of all, we're gonna start out with kind of an obvious one, and that is the Blackwell rum. Now we're not gonna use the 007 rum, which is a little bit more like a bourbon rum. We're gonna use their traditional fine Jamaican rum, the Black Gold Special Reserve, which as you know is a product of Jamaica, brought to you by Chris Blackwell. They sent me this bottle for this occasion, so thank you very much, yum. And um, some other simple ingredients. We're gonna need pineapple juice. So one of the things that I encountered at GoldenEye was the pineapple juice, uh, the pineapple, fresh pineapple, it, it was just the core. It was the heart, it was the soul of the some of the my favorite drinks. This one happens to be Trader Joe's, and as you can see, it is not from Concentrate. No, this is 100% fresh fruit, just stuck in a grinder and made into pineapple. We're also going to use coconut extract. I know that sounds a little weird. Why wouldn't you use real coconut? Well, coconut extract, just a couple of drops are going to give you an incredible amount of coconut flavor without overpowering it and giving you that kind of like woodsy type feel. And here's one of the kind of unusual secret ingredients. This is what sets this apart from, oh, just another tropical drink and that is the Spiced Cherry Bitters. Now, these were a gift from Lee and Bobby Morelli of Match Perfectly, so thank you. These are the Woodford Reserve Spiced Cherry Bitters, bourbon barrel aged. You can see those right there, and there. we're just going to use a very little bit. This, the theme of this, besides simplicity, is a little goes a long way. So, first thing we do is we have our shaker, and as you can see by the condensation, put some ice in there. We want this really nice and cold. I've got my shot glass because I do like to measure these. I mean, there is a certain amount of science to this. And the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take off this wrapping of the Blackwell rum. Now we've made a lot of different drinks with Blackwell rum. I think you have too. We've also tried it neat like he does in the movie. Why not? But in this particular case, we're gonna take our shot glass and we're gonna measure one shot. But are you are you a one shot person? Nomi's not. <laughs> Nomi, Nomi had several good shots in the movie, not just at Bond either. And we want two. You do not want to be stingy with the Blackwell rum. If you're stingy, well, that's not good. Okay, so there's our Blackwell rum. We'll put that aside for now and cap it. And then what we're going to do is we are going to put in our coconut extract. Now, when I tell you to just put a little bit in, I mean two drops, one, two, that's it. Believe it or not, that is all you need. Concentrate, it's a concentrate, it's an extract. So you don't want too, too much in there. And then bitters, you wanna give it a little bit of a shake. And then again, two drops, that's it. I know you're saying, David, I want this to really taste like something, but not not too much that it's going to be forward. The thing you really want to taste, the primary notes, should be Blackwell rum and pineapple. And just so everybody knows, the reason I like this can is because this is 250 milliliters of pineapple juice. And that's exactly what you want to use for this recipe based on the two shots that I put in. So we will... I am not Alessandro. There's nothing pretty about this. But you need to use a decent size shaker. And by the way, one of the things that you should be conscious of as we start to put our ingredients 
to the side here, not make a mess, is the type of glass. You can use a lot of different types of glasses for this. Uh, you could use a martini glass, you could use a margarita glass, uh, you can make it really fancy, you could put a pineapple wedge on there. I'm going for pretty basic. I'm going, you know, know me and you know when I take this out of the cabinet it's not the first thing that I thought I would take off yeah these quotes are not working well anyway I'm force fitting them in can you feel it I'm just using a Duralex rocks glass one of the larger ones it's like one of the medium sized ones all right and then we're gonna take our shaker cap now in some of these recipes I've put a, just the tiniest bit of seltzer in there and the seltzer gives it a really nice foam but I find if you shake it a lot, because some people will just give it one or two shakes, not me, you want to get it so it is so cold, so cold in your hand that you almost can't hold it. Wow. Okay, that is icy. And then you're going to take off your top. Just, I mean, this top. That would have been better with the, that's not the first thing I thought you would take off moment. Eh, regret. Regret's not pretty. Here we go. So I'm going to pour this out. And what you're going to notice is a couple things right away. All right. Ooh. By the way, the scent, the scent of that, the, uh, the coconut. I don't really taste, smell the cherries, but the pineapple smells so good. So let's get nice and close. So what's happening right now, right before your very eyes, is the color and the clarity are starting to even out. Um, if I wanted, again, more of a foam top on there, I would have put a little bit of seltzer. That would have given it more of a foam top. But let's give this a try. Got to try the drink. Shut up. Shut up. It's delicious. And I'm not just saying that for the uh, camera. It is so icy cold. It's refreshing. It's got the pineapple, but those notes of coconut are streaming in. And then, you know, you're, you're experiencing something else. And what is that? It's, oh my gosh, it's, it's, it's bitter. It's bitter cherry picking up the wrong things. Yeah, that spiced cherry is really coming out. But then you've got that Blackwell rum that just sits so kindly in the drink itself. That is absolutely beautiful and I'm going to enjoy that. So I hope you like this recipe. I hope you enjoy it. You can literally make a giant carafe for friends of this recipe. They will thank you profusely for it, but enjoy it. That is the Nomi in all its glory. I want to again thank Blackwell Rum for the generous donation of uh, pretty much a case of rum, <laughs> which is enough to, you know, have an entire house party of Nomi's. But for now, this is great. And for now, this is David Zaritsky for The Bond Experience, and we'll see you all real soon. Take care. Uh. Oh my gosh. Thanks for watching this episode. If you want to be up on the latest from The Bond Experience, just click on this subscribe and subscribe to our channel. You're going to get all the latest and greatest information, plus some exclusive content. And by the way, speaking of content, here's something especially for you, just because we know you. Talk to you soon.